What up, Posse? What up, everyone? How's it going? This is Brandon. And Mark. Chad, we're going to do a special edition, which I'm going to stay right now. I didn't want to do. So, <laughs> we're going to talk about the Avengers like everybody else has, but... We're going to do this in an aggressive style that's going to seem kind of weird, so we're not going to give away as many spoilers, but we're going to talk about it throughout it in a way that I want to, I'm going to let you start because we were already talking about this off camera. Hulk, go. Uh, well, I thought you were going to talk about Hulk. No, you can go ahead and ask me. Go ahead. So what did you think about Smart Hulk? Like we were saying, I'll lead it back into you. What was it that we didn't like about the Hulk that was kind of interesting that that we thought was going to we were excited to have a professor hulk did they deliver i don't think so i don't care either way in a like he became a, a secondary character in a big yeah. way i didn't care because of that and it's like well they don't know quite know in a business sense what they're going to do with the hulk franchise so there it is but i really would have rather seen a hulk that was more like like i said ragnarok like you know you bad friend da, 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 yeah, instead of that instead of yeah a little more savage and angry you bad friend and instead of that going so hey smart. man i really don't like what you did and i really don't appreciate that in a very articulate sense so i would have said i'd like to have seen more hulk less banner more rage i needed more cowbell what How you know what you i'll get it for i had you. to i had to i couldn't what about the scene with the ancient one that was kind of cool. That was sweet. Thing. Kicked him out of his body. Yeah. yeah. Boom. Yeah. That what did you cool. think of the ancient one? What do you mean? Just the that was the same. She was in uh, Doctor Strange. Yeah, Doctor Strange. I know. Yeah. I'm just saying. I mean, whatever. Yeah, it was all right. She's the same as she was in Doctor Strange. They did a really interesting job of tricking all of us into thinking things were going to happen or weren't going to happen and how yeah. big of a role somebody was going to play <laughs> or how little role somebody was going to play. Yeah. Yeah. But we all knew it was going to end with Cap and uh, Iron Man. Yeah, I thought they were both going to die, but this one made sense. I thought they'd be doing like finally putting the end of Civil War into movie form, where you get yeah. shot, going to trial. Yeah, because like you... once every, everybody's back, they're still after Captain America. What about <laughs> what a that elevator scene? Oh was yeah, awesome. Oh the, the Hail Hydra. Oh yeah. that, that was, was good. Awesome. Oh, yeah, that, that was, was so good. good. I mean, they had a <laughs> he lot got of throwback all. things. <laughs> There was a lot of throwback yeah. things that... But seeing them interact, like, they filmed the scene in between at the end of Avengers 1 when he's, like, um, Hulk tries to get on the elevator. He's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. <laughs> like, wait, capacity. Yeah, but then I, he took the stairs. Yeah, he's like, take the stairs, yeah, big was, man. He's like, oh, I don't take the stairs. I, I really... I'll tell you, and I'll just say this. I, I wasn't a fan of the way that they handled the whole time travel thing in its, in, in, in its entirety, oh. that they were kind of fumbling around with the storyline and the plots were kind of weird. And so they were putting in more jokes than anything else where it was like, okay, come on. Hot top time machine. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Back to the future. They, uh, they were really kind of, okay, here's the weakest part of the movie. I thought, in my opinion, I, don't know, I like, I, I, I just like the, the energy that he gave, like Paul Rudd gave it. What about like, just all talking the about the time? Jo- like, so everything like back to the future is bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> like the way cool. he said it is just like the way he does it. Like if anybody else had done that part, it'd be like, uh, it yeah. sucked. Like that was the worst. I mean, but I liked how he volunteered not to go to Vormir after a scare. Yeah. Which he's like, yeah. I, he's like not, not it. it. Yeah. You know, uh, what did you think of the What did you think of the returns that you were expecting, that didn't? Uh, I didn't. I thought Vision would come back. Vision put the gone. Mind Stone back in, but yeah. they didn't do that. And they Gamora. I thought she'd be like, oh, they have to get the time. Like, there's two souls now in the Soul Stone, so yeah. it's like they said it's alternate world, so they're not like dead because Gamora well, is still in the Soul Stone. Realities, like yeah, but they're in the Soul Stone. Like they the said dimension. that Steve Rogers, for him to go back and come back with the shield, he actually had to use the time machine because he he lived his life in an alternate reality when he went yeah, back parallel and grew time old. Or, yeah. Because he replaced himself when he wasn't supposed to be there, so that wouldn't yeah. go in the same. Someone was saying they it might be that he he by the time Sam Wilson was old enough to be fighting and stuff, he was old enough to retire. Like Captain America would have aged. Slower, yeah. but still, yeah. he's like an old man, and then he would have been like, "I can't do this anymore, Sam Wilson. This, like, you're Captain America now." So it happened already in that other timeline. So that's why he's like, when when um, 
Sam was like, uh, he was like, oh, this, like it feels like it's someone else's, and Cap was like, it's not. So it's hmm. like it could be like he's like it feels like this belongs to someone. Yeah, else. but it doesn't. But it belongs to him in another timeline. Yes, as right. the the Captain America crossover that he did, as, and as it, he had the still had the the Falcon stuff. Yeah, but he also had the shield and the. And then now they just announced that they're gonna have a Disney show with the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Yeah, it's gonna be good. That'll be sweet. And, uh, and, and Loki. Speaking of, oh, and Loki's gonna get one. Loki's got a show. Scarlet Witch has got a show. All right. She Hulk. What do you think about Scarlet Witch? Gone, being gone. I mean, Black Widow. Oh, Black Widow. I I think she's gonna be. They keep saying that the the movie, the solo movie, is a prequel, but I think that's just to throw them off. Like it's the, gonna the, bring it's, her it's not, back. It doesn't. It it doesn't. Um, <clears throat> like I feel like it's gonna be teased. Something's gonna happen in Guardians of the Galaxy three because they're still looking for her. Then they like they they. No, think, you said he couldn't find her. Well, that's what I'm saying. But they, they were looking they, for Gamora. They thought he thought she got away. Like the past her got away. Oh, he said I couldn't save her. That's what he said. He, oh, okay. He said I couldn't save her. I didn't, but she ran away. But I, some people are saying, did she get dusted? The second, like the second. What if Gamora thing? saved her? I don't know, but I feel like they're somehow going to travel to that alternate dimension of mm. the Soul Stone and get both well, of them is out. Thor going to be in the Guardians of the Galaxy? Yeah, he's going to travel with them. Or is he just going to split up from them? I what'd think. What would you guys think of Meek and Korg need to be more? What'd you, in there. What'd you guys think of Dad Bod Thor? Dude, Dad Bod Thor was awesome. That oh, was fun. like that was hilarious. It was funny. I mean, uh, the moment with his really mom. Really quick, and I don't yeah. want to sound like He's the like negative Obowski, person man. on this, you but have it was to be just the negative person. You know, that was kind of disappointing. What about <clears> all the family moments? Like Tony Stark had the moment with his dad, yeah. and Thor had the moment with his mom. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, know. I cried several times in this you movie. Know. I'm not you know, gonna lie. I, it delivered. I cried when Sam was like on your left, and I was like, "Holy shit!" Because it was like, "Damn, Cap's about to take all these dudes on," and Sam no, was wait. like yeah. on your left, and, and I was like, "Oh my god!" I was like, "They're and, back!" And uh, <laughs> Cap picking up the hammer. Oh yeah, and that I was like, was they they sick. just can't. Like, they teased it in in Ultron, yeah. but. They just they can't let everyone do it anymore. Like they yeah. had the vision, I thought that was going to be like they replaced yep. Cap, but yep. that's good. That's just those two because Vision's yep. not a man. Yep. But Thor even was like, and, I knew it. You yeah. know, and he's like, he, oh, he you get the small one. I'm gonna... <laughs> they were I felt like they had to like level the playing field of everybody's strength and power, like you know, to yes. be able to to get Captain America to On realistically with them. to to be able to wield, and he's worthy enough, but. Right. Usually they won't. Or, or to he'll be kill. able to he'll... kind of dumb down Captain yeah. Marvel a little bit with explanations as to why she wasn't there, and you know, I mean, it's well, she's and... still like dealing with, I think, the Kree and the scroll. But, but then you have yeah. you have Thor dealing with his own personal problems, which makes him a little more weaker. It, mm-hmm. They they literally mm-hmm. f- physically portrayed him as being weak, you know. Yeah. A, a, yeah. But it's just weird to kind of see all this, you know, stuff. But I think uh, Captain Marvel two might be like it'll fill in the gaps. But also like with Hulk, I mean, during, uh, so A-game. Black Panther two, Captain Marvel two, yeah. uh, Guardians, of the, Guardians of the Galaxy is Guardians of the Galaxy far from three, home. far from home, Secret Wars, Thor, <laughs> Secret Wars, Thor, uh, maybe uh, Thor, I think so. Well, I think Guardians, I think Guardians of the Galaxy three is Eternals. Going to, we already is know. basically going to mm. be Thor four and okay. Shang Chi, yeah. The Master Kung Fu, they've already talked about that. Really? Yeah. I didn't know they that. need to bring they need to try to bring Punisher in. Then the I Black think they Widow let Punisher the rest Black for a Widow while. pre Budapest. Maybe. That'd be kinda cool. But I hope I hope it's like she comes back. Yeah. Well at the end though, obviously I think at the end of that they would have some glimmer of like holy shit. Right. What did you guys think of the end with this just the sound? Uh, of Thor's hammer or what everybody's well, I thought it was assuming. like Iron Man building his armor. Right. So what do you think that that means? That was just to pay homage to the very first Iron Man film, they said, where yeah. that started like that with him. You could hear that sound at the very first Iron Man movie. Okay. So because some people were like th- saying that that's a new beginning. Some people saying that that's, you know, Iron Man's kid making uh, a suit. What about the kid at the funeral? So that kid was like the uh, kid from Iron Man three, yeah. growing up. That's and then, like, that was oh, so cool. then Peter Parker and obviously his buddy, they're not. <clears throat> he obviously dissolved as well because they were the same age yeah. and ran, ran into each other at high school. I personally, I don't think any. I don't think you should read into the the. Did Thor's I make it old five years older? 
Oh. No, I think because everyone else was in the past. Like, the only people that... Well, I mean, people... Oh, half of the people survived. Yeah. Half of the people were like, but, oh, it's mean, been five years. And how happened. do we know who survived and who was dissolved? And did they, they age while these other people were gone for five years? Yeah. Like, Hawkeye's family is five years younger than what he is now, realistically. What'd you guys mm-hmm. think of Ronan? Ooh, he's sweet. Wouldn't you like to see a... a... Is there any talks of a Ronan movie? Uh, I haven't heard anything. I don't know why. Why not? I mean, well, it might be Hawkeye's chance to get like a solo movie. They, I'll tell you what, they did him dirty for a while, but now they really did a good job. He of, was huge in this movie. Another, another way of balancing yeah. power. What, and, and I love how always been one of my. Favorites. I loved how they were kind of hinting. Oh, there's a whole bunch of stuff. People, gangs getting killed in Japan out there, and so you kind of, oh, that's Ronan doing that right. shit. But uh, also, I cried really hard when Peter was saying goodbye to Tony. So yeah. the reverse of Infinity War. Yep. But he just has like such a heartbreaking voice when he's like, mm-hmm. he's such an innocent voice. And then uh, when uh, Cap got his dance finally with uh, Peggy Carter. Because it was like finally, like he did all, like he, he traveled he all this his, way to be like. He deserved his happy ending. Yeah. I kind of feel like after this, and I've and we had talked about how, like I probably, if you put it all together, I've seen this movie now about five times. Not completely, and not always in a movie theater. And I'm just going to say that. Right. Um, but I feel like after seeing it this many times and watching it, I feel like with all the the this, the the formula that they have for the deception of making these movies and and doing movies this way has come to full fruition. And I think they got to abandon this completely and start with a whole new formula of making movies and go with a, go so a whole the totally end, different direction. So this, the next phase is Infinity War is going to be in, I mean, uh, well, uh, Secret Wars? That's you, what the what people you, are hinting at. That's what they're thinking. I'm hoping it'll bring in the Fantastic Four. Yeah. The X Men, mm-hmm. Galactus. They'll have to if they're going to do Silver Surfer, you know, if, uh, Secret Wars, uh, The Wizard. They could do Battle World. I mean, just the, the High regular. Evolutionary. I mean, so many Ghost Rider again. So, There's yeah, so many the characters. Show. What are they going to do though with that the Dark Phoenix movie? And then, uh, like, how do you think that's going to go? I, I don't think that's know. That's it for the X Men. That's it. I don't know. Them. I mean, it's been it, it's, the movie's I been really, done. For, if I've like, never a long felt, time. I've never felt bad for a, a movie before, and I feel bad for that movie. They, yeah. they sh- I think they right should just and they got it. caught they got caught right in the middle of the they, merger but they should know. shelve it but they're not they're there's already slated it's too for late. Like September yeah, it's too late. Right. you can't then. shelf a movie at no, that point you're right yeah. but i mean they knew that they knew that this merger was happening yeah. when that movie was getting made but they're like we're making it anyway you they know? let them i mean didn't so hopefully it's a, it. hopefully it's a very nice bond voyage tribute to what the x men have been yeah, but I'd be okay see. if Logan was the Bon Voyage. That was a good. That, that was, was a good like, ending. Uh, it just was so depressing and sad. I know, but though. it was just it, it. That's how Wolverine has to end his life. Yeah. That the life he's lived, the lives he's lived. It's yeah. That's, it was a sad, that's depressing. How, that's end. how it has to go. Though. You know, it wouldn't be a bad idea to the Punisher do Max. a Beyonder movie. Okay. And that would be a good way to introduce X Men. Fantastic Look, they're Four. They're doing that Eternals movie. Yeah, that's gonna bring all the Celestials and all those like Eternity and the uh, Great Tribunal. Mm. All those guys are gonna be brought to the a lot forefront. of the Fantastic Four. Yeah, and Guardians of the Galaxy enemies. Yeah. yeah. Well, it'll be interesting to see now that uh, you know Marvel uh, is is all all in his hand, their hands now, except for Spider Man and a few others, but. But I mean, even Spider Man, you can feel the influence of the Disney. Yeah, but it's like, going to be interesting to see. Well, you look at Disney and you look at Sony, and I'm sure Sony's just happy to work with Disney. Yeah, because they do whatever you want make, as long as we get our throw change. some more money at yeah. us. Yeah, we're going to make a little more at the back end. <laughs> yeah, because they know that it's successful. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it'll be interesting to see because there's a <sighs> there's a lot. I mean they they did give you everything. I got everything I expected and then some. Never cried in a superhero movie more than I mean I cried a little bit in Infinity War, but this one was like yeah. But, but never everybody, nobody, I jumped up in my seat like twice when all the circles like all the circles started coming around yes. oh. and then they just came out it was swinging on. yeah and um, that was cool. 
was the scene with all the women fighting. Like everyone yeah, was like, A-Force. people were complaining about that, but I'm like A-Force. that looked pretty cool. That like, was a force. People that right? don't read comics have no idea that they have. A they just miss She Hulk, like right? Yeah, yeah. It was it, and, and Medusa, I, but they kicked. We they all knew that Rescue yeah. was going to come back. Yep. That was sweet yeah. when they had their back to back scene. Yeah. Yeah, that Yeah, that was dope. Kill mode with Spider Man. Yeah, sh- oh, sh- sh- he must have took out like 30, 40 dudes right there. Right. Yeah, that was Yeah, dope. that was sweet. I mean it was Drax is stabbing people. I in the liked back. that the all the people like Scarlet Witch had her moment to kind of get <laughs> revenge on Thanos, you know. It was so Yo, she much she came out like swinging he had haymakers, to turn his man. own ships to go against him, you know yeah. what I mean? And then Captain Marvel's entrance. That's her, why I'm like, yeah. Captain Marvel's entrance like what are they shooting at? Boom. Boom. Like just destroyed Took the ship that shit. Down. Yeah, well, that was sweet. <clears throat> shit it, that, like, it definitely sweet delivered haircut. everything that, that that it was supposed to. Um, <clears throat> the, even the small flaws that which I have a, I have a problem with. There's some flaws. Um, we're gonna look back at it. It's gonna be an epic movie. I still kind of like Infinity War a little bit better. Hmm. I don't know if that's. Here's what I'm gonna say. Know. I love I wish, Ragnarok, though. I wish they would have made this three movies instead of two, <clears throat> so it wouldn't yeah. have seemed like they tried to cram so much into this one. Where because... would you have separated the movies? <sighs> See, that's the thing, because I thought about that, and it's like, where do you... It's such an ongoing story. Where do you end it? And I think they did a pretty good job. I mean, the snap was... The... They really did go by the comic book quite a bit. They could have separated it at the snap still. You know, the first movie was fine the way it was. This one, you know, they because there was stuff that they could have added, and especially now that they got, like, those other, like, properties and mm-hmm. stuff. So the third movie could have really been something True. to, like, bank on. Mm-hmm. You know, where it's like, dang, we really had to bring out the whole entire multi-universe and everyone here to do this, you know? True. They, and they kind of made Thanos look like a punk the way... So Thanos, within the nine years that they'd went back in time, was not the same warrior that he was. Like, he handled the Hulk like nobody's business, Infinity War. He's getting peppered up by everybody in this movie. Yeah, but that was a way to explain it, I guess. But they did chop his head off in the beginning. Yeah. The dude was just trying to make breakfast. There was yeah. a, tw- a tweet where it's like, yeah. they, you know, he's just trying to make breakfast, and it had, like, a, like a video of some <laughs> dude, like, with great. his friends. Like, he gets punched, and they all just, like, a bunch of his friends just pretend to stomp him. And it's like, that's just what they did. He's just cooking his breakfast, and they just yeah. come in and just stomp Chopped him. Chopped off his head. Yeah. Needed to be done. Yeah, and then, then they're like, oh, what do we do? And then, like, Scott Lang for the win right there, man. A rat saved the, the weird, day. The young, yeah. Was and that the uh, young Michael Douglas. Yeah. <laughs> Splinter. <laughs> yeah. Splinter saved the day. Of course. Tied it into teen, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah. All Wa- right. Ant-Man and Wasp. Yeah. All well, right, I got to say. movie, right? Yeah. Yeah. They're yeah. Gonna, hopefully have Cassie another one. Lang will be Cassie. stature then. Yeah. Ooh, it, it's it's all expanded. That's what they're, Everything is like, expanded in this. They're, expect, they, they're expecting. So what do we think? What's the next movie actually right now after this? Spider-Man. Yeah, Spider-Man. Yeah. Okay. I'm thinking six movies a year. Does that count? From here on yeah, out. Yeah, that counts. Sony just gets some back-end stuff, I think. Right. Okay. Six movies a year from here on out. But Disney's eventually going to buy it. They're gonna... One movie every two months. Mm-hmm. Then they're going to have their streaming service. You know, so you'll get five, six shows a year. Mm-hmm. Ten to twelve episodes. <coughs> then they're still going to have their digital comics and paper comics. So basically everybody... Just imagine twenty million to thirty million Marvel fans paying a dollar a day for Disney services. Pretty much, you're paying three hundred sixty-five dollars a year for Disney merchandise. That's not even counting hats and clothes and shoes and toys. So look at that. That's ten billion dollars. They have a very large obligation. I hope they do well. All right, guys. I really do. Hope you enjoy I Endgame. Hope, so, do you? Do we all agree, real quick? The next yeah. thing should be Secret Wars. Yeah, yeah, I it do. better be. No World War Hulk type thing. Yeah, maybe in the middle, but they kind of touched it, on it, that with the uh, Ragnarok because I mean he was already a gladiator. Yeah, fighting. but they didn't go that way. With, but they need Reed Richards and, and Professor didn't X go in that there, way. Though. Endgame yeah. didn't go yeah. that way. I'm gonna say beyond. I mean, unless he loses it again, where it, the split doesn't work, because like, eventually it wears off. Like that's what they write, and then. Eventually, he just becomes too savage, and I mean, the Illuminati, like Professor uh, Professor X, Can you Reed do Richards, Secret Wars without Captain Stephen America? Strange. No. Well, yeah, because you know what? He really didn't take. Yeah, you can't do it without him. You can't do it without no. Captain America. No, you can't. You're yeah. a savage, Brandon. All right, all right, posse. 
All right, everyone. All right, peace out. Go see Endgame.